Uh, we picked up our defense, especially in the third quarter. Uh, coach got on us at halftime about our defensive intensity, and he was right. You know, that team right there, uh, even though their record isn't that great, they beat some really good teams because you let them hang around, and they, you know, they NBA players just like us. So picked up our defense, and uh, I think that sparked our offense also. I know you had something to say about Chase finishes tonight. <laughs> what did you think from a point guard perspective? Of what um, he, was able to finish? he can finish. I mean, he's great at drawing fouls, but it's even better if you go to the free throw line and make his free throw. <laughs> Missed two in a row tonight. You know what I mean? And, you know, somebody got to keep him humble if everybody don't talk about how good he is. <laughs> Uh, Chris, you can tell by the way you guys play on the floor, um, you guys have some great chemistry. Can you speak on that both on and off the floor? Um, just, uh, I think it's a collective great locker room as far as the guys and our coaches. You know, um, we try to come in and work hard every day. And uh, like we understand it's a team effort night in and night out. Uh, just like any other team, there's arguments here and there, but we also understand that we all had a common goal is that we just want to win. You know, and so, Having the depth that we have, we have a next man up mentality, and it's been really fun. Kristen, go ahead. Oh, well, Shay's a guy that you've known since he was at your camp in high school. What do you think? No, he I didn't. mean, sorry, not oh, Shay. Yeah, because Shay didn't come to Trey. my camp. He decided to do something with the Canadian national team instead of coming to my camp. So Shay didn't come, right, Shay? <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Trey's a guy who you've yeah. known since he was in high school. What do you think of him getting uh, that All Star nod? Uh, man, um, it's impressive. <laughs> impressive uh, um, to actually know him that long, even when he played on the AAU circuit. And remembering seeing him after the games when I played here, I got a chance to look up and see his mom and dad after the game. You know, and see his siblings and stuff. Um, it's special. And what's the coolest part too is to see the way the fans went crazy for him when they heard his name. As they should, you know, he's homegrown, Mr. Oklahoma, and he deserves it. And to be in the All-Star game second year as a starter is unbelievable. I'm sure there's a, another example I can't remember, but do you remember a time in your career, Chris, when you had you were on a team where you would be minus some starters kind of frequently sprinkled throughout the year, but you guys would just seamlessly play the same identity, keep winning, like kind of like what you guys are doing so far this year? Um, I don't know. Anything stick it's been out? A lot of years. I don't know how to stick yeah. out, but um, you know you have that over the course of the season. Different things come up. Uh, maybe not as often as this year, you mm -hmm. know. But it's been really cool. Next man up, and I think that's why this organization does a really good job with the G League too. You know, I think we utilize that as well as you you can. You know, as far as bringing guys up and down. So it's been cool. And Chris Danilo is a guy that can get you 25 points on 10 shots like he did tonight. How, but he doesn't hunt shots. Like, how does it? How do you develop the confidence to know like the ball is going to come back to you and, and um, not force it? Just because Gallo is one of those guys that can get lost out there as far as the defense. Um, you know, a guy get caught looking at one of us ball handlers and we'll rifle it to Gallo, and he's you know five steps behind the three point line. So his range and just his ability to play inside and outside is, is a weapon for us. You know, with, with the live threat that we have. You know, with Dennis. I mean, with um, with Steve-O and then also with Nerlens, you know, Muskie and them guys and Gallo to stretch the court. Speaking of that long court, how do you develop that with with a big that you're playing with for the first time or or is there no real um, process? I don't know. It was a conversation maybe that first early in the season, me and Nerlens, the lockers right next to each other. I told him I have a unique gift to get big guys. <laughs> You know the ball, you know, and I, I told him, I said, "Scream for me, and I get it to you." And you know, it's been effortless. You know, Nerlens is a guy that he's so selfless, does you know whatever the team needs him to do, night in and night out. And it's nice to reward him. Thank you, Chris. Thank, Thank you. you.